Say Happy New Year. Say Happy New Year, YouTube. It's a new year. Say hi. They haven't seen you in a long time. Say hi. <laughs> hi, guys. Today I'm going to be doing a braid out on blown out hair using this product by Mish Beauty. So let's get started. <laughs> So if you're not familiar with Mish Beauty, they are a small black owned business that makes excellent hair products. And sometimes she comes out with a limited edition collection and it usually sells out fast. So she recently had this Juicy Green Apple collection, limited edition. The first time it was up there, it was sold out like that and I didn't get anything. She brought it back up and this time I purchased their hydrating hair mask and the curl glaze. And this is what I'm gonna be using today for my braid out. Not too long ago, she also had a sale on some of her deep conditioners, and I am addicted to deep conditioners. I love them. And she makes some fantastic deep conditioners. So when they went on sale, I had to buy some because I'm gonna be honest, sometimes her products can be a bit pricey, but I get it. You know, you want quality products, you got to pay for them. And she's a small black owned business that is growing tremendously. So I understand that sometimes the prices can be a little high, but you know, I support when I can. So I got their limited edition holiday deep conditioners. I got the peppermint candy cane. I've used this before. It is awesome. It makes your scalp tingle and your hair just feels so refreshed afterwards. I also got the warm sugar cookie deep conditioner. Smells so good. It makes you just want to eat it, but you can't eat it, y'all. But it smells so good. It smells just like sugar cookies. Oh, God, love it. And I also got her peaches and cream deep conditioner. Also smells fantastic. It makes your hair very, very soft. And this one right here just blew me away. This sweet pumpkin spice deep conditioner. Oh, my goodness, y'all. My hair was so soft and moisturized. And it smelled like sweet pumpkin spice. I didn't think I would like it at first. You know, I like that in candles, but I didn't think I would like it in my hair, but it smelled really, really good. And it just did wonder. My hair just soaked it right up. So anytime Mish has a sale on her deep conditioners, I usually try to go up there and purchase something because they are so good. They will change your hair's life. I'm telling you, they are that good. So last night I shampooed my hair and then I used this Juicy Green Apple Hydrating Hair Mask and it did what it was supposed to do. It made my hair very soft and moisturized. My hair soaked it right up and it smells so good y'all, ooh wee. It smells just like that um, Green Apple Jolly Rancher. Yeah, and the consistency is very thick. Most of her deep conditioners do have a thick consistency and my hair just soaks it right up. It was fantastic. Then I just applied a leave-in conditioner and a heat protectant and I took the blow dryer and straightened out my hair somewhat and just put it into these little twists and then went to bed. So now my hair is stretched out, it's clean, and I'm ready for this braid out. So the first thing I'm going to do is take these twists out and put my hair into sections My hair feels very soft, moisturized, it is ready. My braid outs turn out best when I have my hair in a stretched out state. So that's why I went ahead and used the blow dryer. I did use it on low heat because you want to make sure you don't use high heat too much on your hair because that's gonna dry it out and cause breakage and split ends and we don't want that. All right, I have my hair into sections and I'm going to be starting in the back. Now it's time to apply this curl glaze. So let's see what they're talking about. First of all, love the packaging. Red is my favorite color, but green is my second favorite. So this is just beautiful. Love this, love it, love it, love it. All right. Do away with frizz this fall season with our new Juicy Green Apple Curl Glaze. This shine enhancing glaze will provide a long lasting hold keeping your curls and coils popping longer. All right. 
How to use. Start on clean, detangled hair. Hair must be damp or wet before applying glaze. Section hair into small sections and apply glaze to hair. Use fingers to rake and smooth, blah, 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 blah. Rewetting the hair will ensure that the glaze evenly distributes through the hair. So again, my hair is dry right now, but I do have my spray bottle with some H2O just to mist it and give it, get it a little bit damp. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, I have my first section of hair that I'm gonna braid. I did already apply a little bit of water to make sure it's damp. I'm gonna apply just a little bit more. I don't want my hair to revert back too much, but it did say to apply the glaze to wet or damp hair. One thing I love about braid outs is that they give you so much volume. I do have fine hair, so I love the volume that braid outs give. All right, Let's apply this glaze. I'm gonna just apply about that much. It does have a slimy consistency. And oh my goodness, y'all, that Jolly Rancher smell. Woo! All right. So now I'm gonna take my comb and detangle and make sure that this glaze gets evenly distributed in this section. And then I'm going to start to braid. So I'm looking down in this mirror that I have down here because another key to a successful braid out is to make sure your sections that you are braiding are even. Because the one thing you don't wanna do is try to borrow from other sections when braiding because that's going to cause single strand knots. Okay, when I get to the end, I leave about an inch and a half to two inches out. I'm gonna spray that. Apply some glaze and twist that up. That's how it looks so far. So yeah, first braid done. All right, to finish up, I've turned on my old school, listening to my Pandora, and today I'm in the mood for a little blue-eyed soul. So my station of choice, Steely Dan. And right now I'm rocking out to Hey 19, which is one of my favorite songs. But you know, the lyrics are a little bit controversial. If you know the song, then you know what I'm talking about. I also love Hall and Notes, and She's Gone is one of my favorite songs by them. But they have lots of hits that I absolutely love. Let me know if you listen to Blue Eyed Soul too. And if so, in the comment section, let me know what some of your favorite groups are. I also love Chicago, the Doobie Brothers, Ambrosia, Billy Joel, Little River Band, Phil Collins, Michael McDonald, Blood, Sweat and Tears, Jefferson Airplane. I can go on and on. Okay, I am finished braiding my hair. Now, I will say I'm a little bit nervous because usually when I do braid outs, I use some type of cream and this is a glaze. Um, I wish I had used a cream first and then put this glaze on top because I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. And also, the front of my hair is a different texture, so when I got down towards the end, I did a two strand twist and then locked it in place. So that's why it looks kind of crazy there. And the back of my hair is a totally, totally different texture. This is the back that doesn't act right. So we'll see what happens. I have about three braids in the front. And let me show you the back. Okay, this is what the back looks like.
One thing I will say about this product is a little goes a long way. I barely put a dent in that. I'll be able to use this for some more braid outs or twist outs if I like. I got plenty left over. Oh, it smells so good. Um, so now the only thing left to do is to let these braids dry and they have to dry completely, completely dry before I take them down. Otherwise, it's just gonna be a big frizzy mess. So I'll see you when these are dry. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a couple of days, so I know these braids are dry. So now it's time for the takedown. All right, so I have my little oil mixture here. I have a different type of oil in here that I've been using recently that works really well. I'll talk about it in another video, but I'm gonna go ahead and just coat my fingertips. So, it will minimize frizz as I take this down because it looked like I have some frizz already because my hair might be too dry. But oh well. And when I get to the end, I just separate at the roots only for now. So that's what the first one looks like. Look at that frizz. I don't know y'all. We're gonna see. Okay guys, so the braids are all out and I have some great definition in some areas and in other areas, not so much. I got some frizz. But not only did I get some frizz, I also got some flakes. When I started taking these braids down, it just started snowing. Can you see them? Look at that. But anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to clean it up and make it look a little more presentable, and then we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so here is the final look. What do you think? Let me show you the back. Now I know I do have frizz back here, but that's okay because this is the part of my hair that likes to frizz up the fastest, so that's normal. Okay, so my final thoughts on this Juicy Curl Glaze. I still think it's a great product. I probably would have had better results if I had used a cream first and then applied this on top of the cream because I know what my hair likes. So you might have good results with just using this and no cream, but I know my hair needs a cream. And maybe I wouldn't have had so much flaking if I had used a cream first or if I had added a little bit more water before I put my hair in the braids. I'm still happy with the results. I mean, I probably get about three, four days out of this braid out. So I'm happy with that. And I continue to support Mish. This is a great, great brand. I think this is probably sold out by now. They usually tend to sell out fast when they're a limited edition, but she has some other great products up on her website. So I encourage you to check them out. If you haven't already, you will not be disappointed. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and click that like button. And if you enjoy videos like this and you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe and then click that notification bell so you don't miss another one of my uploads. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.